you know, drawing, music, anything, writing. Um, I feel like all of it is definitely beneficial. It's better than keeping it all bottled up. It's a healthy way to kind of just get your feelings out there. Sometimes I wondered if I didn't have that ability, like, what would I do? You know what I mean? I have to think about that sometimes because I'm like, I don't know how, you know, that one thing, uh, if I did not have that, I don't know what I would replace that with because the pain sometimes runs that deep. You know what I mean? It's, everybody doesn't have that. Everybody might not have that ability to do that. So it helps me release. I draw the eyes first in portraits. There's, there's different ways to draw the eyes. There's people that will draw the eyes the same way no matter who they draw. But you can't do no shit like that. You gotta draw what you see, right? Because everybody got, everybody, nobody's eyes are the same even if they're the same color. You feel what I'm saying? Like, um, if you look into my eyes, right, you can see that I'm sad. Um, I don't know, like, when I draw eyes, I draw eyes different all the time. And the eyes with the tear, you do the eyes with the tear a lot. Mm-hmm. What is that, what is that about? What does that mean for you? Oh, it just means I'm sad. I'm sad. I am very sad, bro. How you deal with something like that? I, yeah. Getting high, bro. Yeah. I'm just like tired of thinking about my past. This is the worst I've ever been in in the streets. I don't know. I just I feel like I'm stuck here. Um, and when I draw, I don't think about shit. Yeah. So what got you into art? Um, my father. <laughs> my father would draw shit for my mom when he was locked up. He was always in jail. And I would draw the same thing he sent. You know what I mean? Yeah. I wouldn't, like, trace it. I would draw it. And, uh, I don't know. It just happened. I loved it. How old were you when that started? Like, like young? <laughs> like, eight, nine, ten... It helps me calm myself down, and, and I don't think about all the crazy shit that I think about. I just, I'm just thinking about the picture and how it's gonna come out. It's kind of like escaping reality for mm -hmm. for a minute. Yeah. There's a lot of shit in my head that I want to learn how to how to deal with better, you know? Yeah. Because I feel like a little boy. You know, a, a man is, you know, he has his, he has his kids. He's he's he's, he's, he's he, he's um, working to be able to fucking, um, you know, raise his kids and, and really get out of food and, I mean, and the shit they need. And he, like, he... he like a provider? Yeah, a provider. And, and, and he got his car and he got his crib. You know, he got, he got a bank account. You know, he got his shit going for himself, all this good shit that, that he got going for himself. And, and here I am, you know, looking at him and, and, and you know, I ain't got, yo, let me get a dollar. Got a dollar, got some change. And it, that shit fucks with me, man. I don't like this, man. I'm usually, you know, like I work out all the time. I always got a, a job and, you know, I don't look like this shit, man. Dirty as fuck, come on. Shit's crazy, bro. It's crazy, man. It's just insane, the shit that I put myself through just for this, this, this fucking drug, yeah. You know, but I actually, I'm actually a good person. You know, you yeah, totally, saying? people like, cast judgment, man, yeah. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and then, like, everything that I do, period. Like, I want to change my life, but I'm stuck doing this shit. You know what I mean? It's like there's a demon, um, like, following me. Like, it's on my back, like, and I can't get rid of it, you know? Um, and when I draw, I don't know, I feel better. How does... I, and, and then the fact that people like what I did, do, and, and they smile and they do that shit. I like that too because normally people look at me like I'm like I ain't shit or like I'm gonna steal something from you or lock the door, honey, at a red light when I'm crossing the street. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Sorry, guys. No, no, no. I like your drawing, by the way. Uh, 
What was the question? Well, you're kind of telling a little bit of your story, struggles. I was born out here, bro, raised out here. My mom was fucked up in the game. My father was fucked up in the game. You know, they hustled, though. My mother hustled hard, bro. Like, even though she was fucked up, she hustled to get us food every night. And that's what I wanted to do. I didn't want to be a teacher. I didn't want to be a basketball player. I wanted to be a hustler, you know, and I did it. And I made money and started getting high, you know? This is me. Not a portrait of me, but it's like, you know. It's, it's, a representation. It's, this is how I feel. You know, like sadness. The, the worst day of my life was my mother died. I felt like I was nothing. I felt gone, I looked instantaneously lonely. She was my best friend, bro. Yeah. She was my only friend. When she died, she was my only friend. And my little brother keeps telling me that I gotta let it go. I gotta move on. And, um, and it's like he's talking Chinese, you know? I don't understand that shit. Like, I feel like, like move on from what? My mom? And just forget that she was, that she existed or what, what, what am I moving on from? I'm not just sad. That shit broke me, bro. A lot of times you just can't stop the thoughts that are running in your brain. And it affects your life. If you can't stop thinking about like stressors, anxieties, unfortunate things that have happened to you or just like things you're not happy with in your life. If you have like a running dialogue of that, that can really be defeating. So like to be able to unplug and do something like art, it's an important thing. A lot of people don't have time for that. I think just generally our culture doesn't put emphasis on making time for that. What is your relationship with art in terms of like? I'm down with that. I'm not, like seriously, I had like, okay for me, like so many, so many things were bad with me, like very ignorant, very hypocritical, very just, I had so many bad qualities. And then I went away, and when I went away, I just wanted to be a better person. So I did everything I could to try and better myself. I read a lot of books. When it comes to art, every aspect of my education, I mean, you think about it, math, science, history, all the things, I, you can you can teach them through art. But um, here's another thing about art. Art is definitely like my, um, my meditation and my therapy, you know? like, cause uh, when I'm drawing, I'm not just drawing, I'm not, at some point where I'm almost not thinking anymore. When you're no longer concentrating so hard on someone, it becomes like, I don't say easy, but it becomes a, a lot less hard. <laughs> your, your brain is very easy, it's, it's able to like, vacate the premises and right. take a little, little side trip. Get into a whole different space. Yeah, mm-hmm. and then, that being said, um, there was a time, a long time, that I thought that trying was going to be the end-all cure-all to my happiness. During that, during the course of that time, I, I came up with a deeper philosophy of like, uh, it's it's not that it's the end-all cure-all, it's the germ or the spore or the seed that festers all these other concepts and ideas. And I don't have time to do those. Out okay, here, there's too many. Uh, there's too many variables. There's too many things that that could be doing otherwise. I just don't have it in me. Can you talk to me a little bit about your involvement in the mural? Oh wow, that was an awesome experience for me. Um, uh, I have an somewhat of an art background. Um, in my youth, I did a lot of graffiti and artwork and drawing um, as a method of coping for myself. So uh, when this project presented itself, 
um, and the freedom that Tapestry gave me to express it. It was like a gratifying experience because for one, I haven't done it in years. And for two, the response that I received from community members, people kept coming by and encouraging and like, wow, that's awesome. And for me, um, community is very important. It empowers the community. We like the fact that, that we're taking part in beautifying the city, changing the culture, changing the way people's views of the services that we do. So for me, that was a very gratifying experience. Being a good harm reductionist is about being collaborative with your peers that you're working with, but also 100% with the community. And that happens in micro and macro levels, I think. Um, one of the more recent examples that I've been able to experience is when we were working on the mural project with some participants. And just the regular everyday conversations and exchanges we were able to have in this environment outside of an office wall or outside of an exchange wall was so filled me up so much and helped me a lot with what I was going through at the time. So I don't, I often don't think that participants understand how much they actually give back to us in the field and how important that is.